It's not evil people that we're worried about here. It's boring people. I mean, landfills are so incredibly boring. Uh, and incinerators are so boring. Uh, and to think the Western civilization has come to this point. You pay good money for this stuff in the morning, and what can you do with it at nighttime? Burn it. Bury it. No, it's very boring. And I'm, I am... I'm so obsessed with this concept of boring that I've developed a new, a new definition. We have human beings and we have human borings. Now, human borings, human borings have no imagination, no vision, no sense of humor. Um, they're obsessively tidy. I'm really getting back at my childhood here. Um, they're confused being clever with being wise, which takes care of most of the American educational system. Um, they have more faith in machines than people. Uh, they believe that science and technology can fix every problem. Uh, they believe that man is the center of the universe and a woman's place is in the kitchen. That is a real human boring. Now, boring, boring experts think, get this on tape, Think with the wrong end of their bodies. They're what I call back-end thinkers. And I've got a little parable to illustrate this very sophisticated concept. A back-end thinker comes home and the bathtub is overflowing. Oh my good goodness, gets a cup to empty it. It's not fast enough, so he gets a bucket. It's still not fast enough, he gets a foot pump. It's still not fast enough, he gets an electric pump. At this point, his wife comes home and she switches off the tap. She is a front-end thinker.